Hi there boys and girls. I know that in Teach Jeans class everybody's learning about space but this week has been really exciting because we've had the International Space Station fly over Johannesburg as well as the Hubble Telescope. Now space has got all sorts of machines that are floating around and circling the earth and taking photographs and videos and they're also taking photographs and videos deep into space. The Hubble Telescope is the machine that is doing that. It's looking outwards from the Earth and the satellites are sending signals backwards and forwards to us down here on Earth. And we're going to use a variety of different things to make some fun satellites. If you've got some nice tubes at home that you can use, you could even make a Hubble Telescope or you could make an International Space Station. So what you're going to need for this are some paper tra uh, meat trays. These ones have all been cut up into different shapes. This one I've just kept so that I can put my dough in it to use as a stand. You'll need some scissors and some toothpicks, so not much at all. And this is what the Hubble telescope looks like out in space. And then I also have some pictures of a couple of satellites so that you have an idea what satellites look like. You are able to watch TV and have Zoom lessons because of satellite, satellites out in space. Here is another kind of satellite. Some of these have been out in space for a long time and others are being put out into space almost every single day so that we're able to talk to people all over the world at the same time. Right, so first of all, ask mum and dad to help you cut up your meat trays into different shapes. And if you're a good cutter, you can do it yourself. And then you're going to assemble them using toothpicks and all those different pieces. So you could start off with some toothpicks in your dough, but you don't need to do that. Your toothpicks can go straight into your pieces of meat tray. Now this is a bit of a wonky stick. Gosh, you can't use that one at all. And then you can add extra little bits to it. I'm going to do that one going in that direction and this one in this direction and then from there we can make some others that go out sideways and they could be all sorts of different shapes and we can just build and let it grow and grow some of them can go up right like that all the way down and let's do some coming out of the side so invent your own satellite and see if you can make a really exciting one I think these ones on the side might be the solar panels, which um, collect sunlight and heat so that the machines inside the satellite can do their work. They kind of make electricity from the sunlight. So keep building and make it as big as you like. I'm going to start putting mine onto here so that it's not as wobbly onto my dough. And you can keep adding to it. Let's do a circle shape on the top there. And then we could have some coming out of the side as well. One toothpick out there, and one toothpick out there, and some more solar panels so that this satellite can keep itself powered. Make them as big as you like, as interesting as you like. They don't have to stand up, they can lie down as well. And this is going to be my last one, which is like a little wing. And there we go. Let's see if we can get it to stand up and be stable. Aha, by pushing it down into the dough. There we go. Have fun making your own satellite and please send us some pictures so that we can see what you've done. See you another day. Bye.